Hi, my name is Tony and today I'll show you how to do wallets and card holders because I have seven different designs and you know me, this is one and you know me, I have seven different Sake. Peace. Hi, my name is Tony and today I'll show you how to do wallets and card holders. I have seven different designs and this is now one of those videos where you have to skip forward to the action because, you know, we're going to start right now. First thing you need to do is download and print the patterns. These are very easy to follow because every stitching hole is marked, every cut line is clear. Trust me, it does not get easier than this. I will go ahead and show you how to use the pattern pages to punch the stitching holes and cut the leather pieces you will need for any of uh, the wallets you choose to make, but I will only do it for one piece. Obviously, you're gonna use the exact same process for the rest of your leather pieces, all right? Good. First thing we do is cut the patterns out of the paper. Next, we consider the leather we want to use. Very, very important step because not all the leather is the same and certain types of leather are only suitable for certain leather items, all right? I will use three ounces of vegetable tan leather, which means it's about 1.2 millimeters uh, thick, if you speak European, all right? And um, I bought this already dyed and uh, it's kind of stiff, which is exactly what you want for a wallet or a card holder, all right? Now, if you want to use thicker leather that's absolutely fine with me go for it but expect a thicker wallet it's a simple math all right the thicker leather you're gonna be using uh the more the the, the you know meat here the sandwich in your pocket all right but some people like that uh, but let's get back to what i use all right two tones black and brown personally i like my wallets all black but uh, black leather is kind of hard to film and uh, the purpose of this tutorial is making things easier to see and understand and uh, for that reason i added a little bit of brown leather into the mix you are very welcome moving on i will use masking tape just like this guy here to hold my paper firmly onto the leather so i can uh, punch the stitching holes and cut the leather with ease knowing my leather won't move all right very good i recommend uh one 1.5 millimeter holes for this build because the leather is thinner than our usual builds all right also uh, you might want to rub some wax along the stitching holes uh, because that will make uh, things a lot easier on you and on your um, uh, puncher Next, grab your preferred cutting tool and carefully cut along the lines. Very good job. Next, I recommend finishing some of the edges, not all at this moment, but just the ones you won't have access later after you finish the stitchings, like this guy here or this guy here, or this edge here or this edge here. You'll figure it out, all right? This applies to any of the seven designs we will do today. First, I will use an edge bevela on both sides and uh, then I will use a regular marker to color the edge black, all right? Mm -hmm. 
after we apply some burnishing gum uh, Toco Pro in my case you can also use water but it will take a lot longer and then we're gonna use a wood burnisher to smoothen those edges right till they're all nice and shiny listen I know it's a drag nobody nobody likes dressing anything not leather not kids now but if you want to get your leather working to the next level I'm afraid, I'm afraid this is something you need to start doing anyway just remember at this stage only the inside edges here all right good so that's how you get the leather pieces you need ready for assembly all right next i will show you how to put everything together starting with this credit card holder right here they call this minimalistic i call them easy and cheap to do all right it has only four pieces it holds two credit cards and it will take about five minutes to finish all right a great place to start like i said we will hold everything together with one single saddle stitch and uh, you can start this stitch from anywhere all right it doesn't matter a while ago i found these positioning needles that are great for holding my pieces in place and you will see me using them all throughout the tutorial very very useful and uh, if you want um, if you want to buy them I'll, uh, I'll leave a link down in the video description uh, and uh, yeah you can just go uh, buy them and use them like I do strongly recommend it so back to the saddle stitching very easy a needle at each end follow the same motion and uh, if you punch if you punch the stitching holes in a straight line you will get a perfect stitch which is what you want when i'm not using a stitching pony you will see me using my thumb to hold the thread tight okay because i don't want to pierce the thread with the other needle when i pass from the left uh, to the right through the hole all right please watch my fingers very carefully When you finish the stitch, simply trim the ends and melt them off with a lighter or a thread zapper like I do here. Extremely useful tool as well. All right. I'll, I'll leave this. Uh, I'll leave a link to this nifty guy down in the video description as well. You can find a lot of very useful links there. Go, go check it out. now uh, let's take a look at those edges we sandwiched together grab some sandpaper and gently sand them uh, to to the same level all right um, unify those edges just make sure you don't scratch the leather take your time all right 
after that you can use your edge bevela to round those edges again If you want a black edge like I do, once again, a permanent marker from the supply store down the street will work surprisingly well. Uh, and then you have to apply some burnishing gum, that's why, and rub those edges to a nice shiny finish. Anyway, like I said, this holds two cards, very easy to make, and it's either going to be a great start in your leather working experience or an easy to make gift for your clients. And I think I've already said that I'm getting old. Moving on to the next card holder, which is extremely similar. Uh, the build is identical just the position of the cards is you know uh different but um you know this time though this time we're gonna glue the two main pieces together like i'm about to do next all right so every time we move on we're gonna learn something uh something new because uh yeah that's that's what you get I used a special cement glue for leather all right and I think it's great practice for later when we will need to use glue to finish uh, one of the wallets all right And like I said, the rest of the build is exactly the same. Uh, I'm actually going to go grab coffee till you're finished. Just keep watching in case you already forgot uh, what we did with, with, with the first one. All right. I'm, I'm still going to go get that coffee. Okay, with two very basic designs uh, ready, let's add a few extra elements and make the next wallet a little bit more practical, all right? Um, while still small by anyone's standard, this wallet will hold two cards, all right? And have additional pockets here, all right? Where you can, inf you can put some folded bills or i don't know receipts whatever all right 
so um the build again very very easy still one single stitch that goes all around the edges and uh, holds all the four pieces together all right so again i'll shut up and uh show you how i finished mine Okay, I know some of you have more than two cards you want to carry around. So this next design will have four credit card slots. The assembly is slightly different and it requires you put everything together in a specific order. But allow me to demonstrate. First, we attach these slots to this piece using this small stitching line. After you're done, grab the other card slots and stitch them along this edge here. It is very important you do the inside stitching lines first. This guy and this guy. Once you do, 
finish the outside line here all around the edges and you are done all right very easy You now have a small wallet that holds four cards and two inside pockets, all right? Very well done. Next design is a more classic, very practical, uh, looks great. It's not actually the first time I've made um, a design like this. Uh, it will hold your bills on the inside pocket here and a couple of cards right there very very easy access all right the build is very very easy just two just a couple of stitches one here and one here and you are done The second bifold or bifold or whatever bifold, let's let's just call it bifold, all right, is a very similar build to the first one, all right. Just that he has four credit card slots, all right. Once again, the order in which we will assemble the various parts is very important, all right. We're gonna start by attaching these two black slots first. Then place the top slot 
on top of the, the, the black one and stitch from here, all right, going down towards the edge. Once we get to the edge, we will add the outside of the wallet uh, into the stitching and continue outwards like this. All right, very easy. Finish the edges and you're done. Now, for the last design, I wanted to use a more traditional assembly method that can be applied and used 
to any of the previous builds all right first we will simply cut the leather pieces using the patterns but we will not worry about punching the stitching holes at this time i know they're there on the pattern if you want to build this wallet using the same methods we have so far but if you want to try something different using um, the, the, the multi-pronger stitch, diamond stitch, whatever, um, leave those holes to be punched later. You're going to need a few paper clips for this build as well. So go ahead and grab a couple of those clips and then use them to position this card slot on the bottom and um, make sure all the edges are perfectly aligned all right and then get the inside slot uh, the black one in my case and position it inside as well like i'm doing here when you're all confident the edges are aligned remove the top slot the one you um, you attached first and prepare to mark our first stitching line on the inside uh, credit card slot the the black one all right i will use a compass to scratch a line about 3.5 millimeters from the edge all right then i will use these five stitching prong spaced at five but it doesn't matter the spacing use whatever you have uh just make sure you have a single or a, a, a two uh, prong set as well uh, for the corners. And I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean later. But for now, with the holes on both pieces of leather go ahead and attach them stitch them together the look of this stitch is different from the ones made with a round hole puncher and uh you know arguing which one is the best is kind of like deciding between uh star trek and star wars you either like one or the other there are very few people in the world who like them both like myself now we need to attach this slot on top of the black one but this time before we punch the stitching holes we're gonna need to use some glue to hold everything in place all right and in order for that glue to hold we need to scrape off the paint uh, from uh, this piece it's very easy to do even with a um, cutter blade all right here why don't you just uh, have a look how i do it Once you are done, carefully apply glue only at the edge, uh, like this, on both pieces of leather. Then simply place the brown one on top of the black one and uh, let them dry for a bit you're gonna need to do the same for the outside piece just like we did earlier with this guy i think all right all the glue applied um it's best to apply some pressure on the whole assemble um and i'm gonna use paper clips all right but um it might be a good idea to insert some paper in between so they won't leave marks especially uh, when you're using vegetable tan lab all right
Next, remove all those paper clips and use the compass to scratch a stitching line around the edge, just like I'm doing here. Now, use the stitching prongs to make your stitching holes. Please be very careful to hold this tool perfectly perpendicular on the ladder. Even the slightest angle will mess up your entire work, so take your time with this particular task. And remember, leather working is not a race, it's a journey, or it should be. Um, once you are done, you can use a flat owl like this one to pierce through every stitching hole from the back. All right, this is, op this is optional, but um, it will make stitching a lot easier later. Talking about stitching, if you have a stitching pony, which for these kind of projects can be extremely useful go ahead and use it if you don't have one that's fine but do consider getting one in the future once you finish the stitching uh, and finished your edges you are done with your build just like that with all these finished there is really no reason for me to keep talking so i'm gonna thank you so much for watching this video i will ask you to like and maybe subscribe to my channel uh, if this is something you're interested in and um you know just go peace <laughs>